Hey, my legion. Uh, today I thought I'd talk to you about this. Uh, Willy Wonka's Chewy Gobstoppers. And what happened earlier today, I had some extra change. Uh, and there was a whole bunch of neat stuff at work in the vending machine, like uh, the Oots Medley Chips. And, uh, like, Oots made a uh, thing of spi hot and spicy cracklings, pork cracklings. I never had those before, so I thought I'd bring a whole bunch of stuff down and and uh, get the stuff and usually do uh, on my 10 minute break I try to do a couple of uh, on location reviews and I did this but I mean I didn't have enough time to really do it give it uh, justice so I wanted to give you this in introduction and there's a whole bunch of stuff on this uh, incredibly uh, wonky uh, candy and this video is called the wonky's candy right it says uh, you know, Chewy Gobstoppers, oh, it says contain egg, right there. By uh, Jaws Breakers that change colors and flavors with a chewy center. Because usually the other ones had like this powdery center, it was really good. But I remember growing up with Gobstoppers, and I remember uh, when I was real young, cause we lived in the one house in Albion, and the one yellow house in Albion is one I lived from where I was born, so I left first grade. I remember, I can't remember when it was, around kindergarten or something like that. I saw Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factor on TV, and I loved it. You know, as a kid, that part in the tunnel was real scary, you know. And it was cool that uh, for the song Dope Pat that they did like a, Marilyn Manson did like an homage to that. You know, actually in that whole album he did homage to Willy Wonka. Anyways, uh, nah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh. I like the remake too, but uh, with Johnny Depp, but I, I personally like the Charlie, I mean Charlie, uh, Gene Wilder, uh, you know, representation of Willy Wonka and stuff like that, where uh, Johnny Depp was just playing a character, and it was, it was cool, the, the remake was good, but my heart's with the original one, and I thought that was really good, and uh, just like with Playing the Apes, you know, they were hyping up uh, Tim Burton's uh, Big remake is being better. That's what Mike Clark Duncan said, but the original is where my heart died. But the other one they had, uh, Rise of the Planet Apes, one of the it, it uh, I think it explained uh, some of the stuff that they didn't explain that much in the original series of the Planet Apes movies a long time ago. But, anyways, I'm getting off track. Uh, yeah, these are cool uh, gobstoppers. And on the back, there's a greeting from Willy Wonka. And it says, greetings to you from Willy Wonka himself. Tremendous things are in store for you. Many tastes await you. Inside this scrum diddly ish inside this scrum diddly ish so I can say it, package you will find mystic and marvelous surprises that will entrance, intrigue and delight you beyond measure. So don't just stand there with your mouth open. Go on, feed your imagination. That's cool. Usually, you know, Willy Wonka put out some really great stuff like the Gobstoppers, Tart and Tiny, I never had the Chewy Gobstoppers, but the regular Gobstoppers, Tart and Tinies, uh, I think a Dinosaur Egg, I think they did a long time ago, I, I haven't had those in a while. Nerds, I love Nerds, and the Pixie Sticks, you know, I have Willy Wonka Pixie Sticks too, but I mean sometimes movie tie-in candies can be good, some of them can be lousy. The E.T. thing, the Reese's Pieces was genius, and Reese's Pieces is really good, and that was a big seller after E.T. If I remember Terminator 2, they had candy, and they was awful. They had one that was 99 cents, which were these uh, sour bites or something like that. That's what I bought. And then for three bucks, they had like this giant jawbreaker about the size of a baseball. I wouldn't go attempt that. That looks like a trip to the dentist right there. But that uh, that Terminator 2 stuff was awful. The next day, I, I think I, I put in one of the neighbor's mailbox, homemade like it. It was horrible. But uh, that was a long time ago. So what follows is uh, my review of the of the Chewy Gobstoppers on location at work in the break room. And I thought it was just a, this is like a small series of things I thought would be neat just for today. But I don't like bringing my camera to work because I'm afraid it'll get broken or stolen. So I brought it today just for fun. I kept everything in my press. I knew where everything was at and I was able to do that. But usually I don't like bringing stuff like that to work. But I thought today would be cool. So, I hope you like it. I want to say that I've heard of uh, Wonky's Joker 69. I've heard of the Wonkiest Calliope. 
And this is the first time I've ever heard of the wonkiest candy. I hope you like the review coming up. Hello, my Legion. Uh, I'm reviewing Willy Wonka's Chewy Gobstoppers. Now, I've tried a lot of Willy Wonka stuff before, but I never had their Chewy Gobstoppers. I want to see if they're any good. Once again, these were 80 cents in the vending machine at work. And I'm probably going to do a, another part to this on my webcam at home. And I, may, and I got a lot to say about Willy Wonka and stuff like that, but I thought I'd open these up and try them. Good. I'm going to take two in there. They're very round. Got orange in one. I'm kind of like a. Hmm. These are good. Looks like a crunchy, uh, chewy candy. A lot of sweet stuff, too. The Willy Wonka. But I tell you what, I heard of the Wonkies Joker. I heard of the Wonkies Clypey, I guess. Uh, Willy Wonka's Chewy Gobstoppers is the Wonkies Candy. I highly recommend this, too. So until next time, take care of my legion. Now, and this gets a flick of the bit for me. Hey, do we play free, free bird? Alright, take care of my legion. These are good. We'll probably do a, an intro to this, too. Alright, take care of my legion. Yes, indeed, that is one wonky candy. This thing controls the speed at which it goes. Where's it on? About 60. Wait, this controls the speed which goes 60. Let's turn this down like about five. <laughs> or the zero. There we go. That's about a real slice of fun. Less work, more fun I have. Alright, that's one Wonka candy. Willy Wonka is chewy gobstopper. Till next time, take care, Marley.